Question 7a. Explain why phenol is brominated much more easily than benzene. So it is because the oxygen in the phenol. The oxygen is, has a p orbital and it can overlap with the uh, pi electron system in the benzene ring. So after it's overlap, then the lone pair on the oxygen, it can delocalize in the ring. Uh, for example, the first resonance structure. After the lone pair can get into the ring, it will, it will stay at the second position. So this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon. So then the electrons pair will shift means it will move uh, within the ring and another position now with the negative charge then another position with negative charge so we say that the phenol it's activate the benzene ring and it will activate at the two four six position okay that's the reason why it can reacts with the electrophile much easier than benzene because the benzene ring now it has more electron density is more active okay so this this is the uh, the the explanation okay p orbital from oxygen overlap with the pi electron system in benzene ring so because of this overlapping the lone pair or uh, from the oxygen can be delocalized means it can move into the ring after that there will be a greater pi electron density around the ring which at the position of two four six two four six therefore it's able to attract the electrophile more easily than the benzene ring part b iodine monobromide ibr reacts with benzenes in the presence of the catalyst albr3 predict whether the organic product will be bromobenzene or iodobenzene then we need to know which electrophile will be formed so from here we know that iodine is less electronegative than the bromine so the bromine will get the electrons pair so means IBR bonds break and these electrons will gain by the bromine and the bromide will combine with the catalyst to form ALBR4 negative and at the same time, the electrophile means the I positive here will form. And this electrophile will further react with the benzene ring and it will undergo electrophilic substitution and it will form the iodobenzene. So iodobenzene will form as the Br is more electronegative than iodine. That's the reason. Okay, part C. Figure 7.1 shows some reactions of phenol. So it starts from here. Okay, so if let's say we add sodium, because phenol is just, uh, the, uh, it can uh, behave like the uh, alcohol. So when sodium reacts with phenol, so it will form the salt and the hydrogen gas. So it will form the, <coughs> this, sodium salt and the hydrogen gas just like the normal uh, alcohol right so this is the we call sodium phenoxide and of course the half mole of hydrogen gas will released and after that uh, for the reaction one uh, because the product is the one nitro group added so we know that this is the nitration 
So phenol, when uh, it's undergo nitration, we just need to add dilute uh, HNO3, then it can form this compound. For reaction two, we know that this part added to the phenol. So this one, obviously, we need to use the benzene diazonium salt. Then it will form this uh, azodite. And for the last reaction, excess bromine. So this is a, a bromination or halogenation. So where, because it's in excess, okay, this uh, phenol will direct two, four, six substitution. So it will form two, four, six tribromal phenol. These are all the reactions. Okay, part one equations already uh, given here, right? Phenol with sodium forms sodium phenoxide and uh, hydrogen gas. Okay, part two draw the structure for the organic product R from the phenol react with excess bromine. Okay, I already told you all these position two, four, six. Okay, will be uh, will undergo this. Uh, Halogenation means electrophilic substitution. Part three, state the reagent and condition uh, for reaction one and reaction two. Reaction one is to form the, the nitro groups here. So uh, we need to just add the dilute HNO3. That's all. Right. So answer is this. Dilute HNO3, just room temperatures will do. Reaction two is the uh, involve the benzene diazonium salt. Uh, you can put this one, or you can do the structure like this. So C six H five N two positive Cl negative. So this is a benzene diazonium salt, and of course it needs the sodium hydroxide. Uh, means the uh, alkali medium. So then if you undergo the coupling reaction, means uh, the phenol with the benzene diazonium. Uh, salt, then it will form this azodine, right? Okay, so this this is the answer, right? For reaction two. Okay, that's all. Thank you.